YouTube, <clears throat> back at it again with another video. Five signs that you are a chosen one. Five signs that you are chosen out of this world by God. There's plenty of chosen ones go through plenty of odd experiences, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make five signs that are basically telltale signs to show that you are that you are picked out of this world by God. You are not to participate into this world. So let's get started. So number one, you've been you've been attacked ever since you were a child. So that, as the Bible says, our war isn't against flesh and blood, but against rulers of the darkness, dark principalities. So ever since you were a child, literally as soon as you were born, you being being attacked. Like the, the devil's been attacking you ever since. It's a, it's a spiritual battle with you, with a chosen one. So as being attacked, you could have usually every chosen one really early in their life. I'm talking about really early in their, their life. The devil tried to take you out. Like he tried to try to kill you basically that's how this is one of the first signs you, you probably remember this too so if you had like a near-death experience as a kid or maybe you were even born you were you were even a, a miracle child where you were supposed to be dead but you but you made it out usually every chosen one before before they were born or early in their life they almost they almost died like they almost had a situation where they died like for me whenever i was born my uh I was about, I was about, I think one, yeah, one, a one year old, and I ate this fish. It was a spoiled fish, and I almost died from it. Like I had like a, it was such a bad poisoning to where, like I literally, if I if I didn't get these I like IVs rapidly in my body, I could have died. Like I got, I got poisoned by this fish, and like my fever was like extremely high. I think they said it was like 104 degrees Fahrenheit or something. So. This is one of the first signs like whenever you're born as a chosen one you're marked by god and the devil which is god of this world sees that he's because he, he hates god he's a hater of god so he's like he's like there's no way he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna kill this child so you you're if you're a chosen one you have been getting attacked since you were young and most likely you have you've had an experience whenever you were really young where the devil tried to take you out try to take you out of existence so that's one of the first signs and if you're not super you could have had one uh, maybe a little bit later in life. I'm talking about not too late in life, though. Probably early childhood. But you've had you've you've had like near death experience as a child. That's one of the telltale signs you're a chosen one. You've been the devil's been trying to take you out ever since. So that's sign number one. Sign number two. Your childhood was pretty difficult. So if you're if you're not part of this world, as a chosen one, you're marked out of this world. Ninety nine percent of people are worldly, which means they're they're of the earth, they're people of the earth. So since you're different, since God basically took you out of this world, everyone saw that. Everyone's like, people didn't know how to feel about you. Like you're, you've always been a light. And the, since this world is really wicked, especially like it, even for even for younger like children and everything, they would see that. They would see that. They'd be like, what? Like they couldn't like. They couldn't, they couldn't like tell who you were and it would piss them off. They'd be like, who is this person? Like they're so, they're so positive and they would hate it. It's because, uh, the devil's been trying to attack you with his demons and everything. They, they've been trying to, they, they get pissed off as a chosen one. Like your presence pisses, pisses demons off. Like these demons get mad. The devil gets mad and everything. So the devil goes through kind of like inspires other people like it goes in there he goes in their head or like the demons go in the other children's heads or whoever it is even adults goes in their head and it's like oh look like the devil knows but it doesn't tell the other person they just like they get like an urge to, to like just hate on you for no reason like they don't even know why they're doing it that's why it's not their fault but they, they get deceived by the devil the devil's like okay oh, hey like hey just just mock this person or go try to bully him or go hate on him or go try to go try to like ruin his day it's just pettiness from the devil like you know that you're chosen if you've had these experiences ever since you were a child like maybe in school or anywhere else you've just seen people look at you weird or just like mean mug you or just hate on you look at you spitefully and everything and like because you, you've always been a light like they can't they can't handle that you're a bright that you're you've been bright ever since you were born you've been marked by god so as a child you probably had a rough experience with many different people like since you catch you catch so much attention it doesn't ma it doesn't matter what you look like or what you looked like as a child or whatever it's all your energy your your energy was always high and people could see people could 
like see that you were different and everything so it would piss them off it would piss off the demons they'd be like oh i hate because like if you're a chosen one by god you're not of this world you're of god so you're technically an enemy of the people view you as like an enemy of the world so the the devil who's god of this world gets angry about that because he, he 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 like the devil gets scared the devil gets scared so he's like he's like oh i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to put him down just put him down as hard as i can i'm gonna try to make him do this this and that. just been attacking you 24 7 so if your childhood was rough you had a lot of like just bad friendships people talking to you weird people trying to like mock you or hate on you or just like make fun of you or whatever that's another sign that you're chosen like you you never you've never done anything wrong as a chosen one it's not in you to do anything wrong you're not that type of person so you don't want to do anyone wrong you're kind-hearted you're not you're not weak you're just you're kind because like god god picked you out of this world and god is a god of light so he picked you out of this world so you don't do anything wrong but since this world is so wicked and the god of this world is the devil they hate they hate the chosen ones because they're a light so they're gonna try to do anything they can to put you down so that's a, that's sign number two that you were a chosen one like your childhood was just weird like you were always you never understood you're like i'm so nice to people and everything i'm just like kind hearted i'm not just i'm not just a pushover like i'm just just nice but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter though because like the this world this world's wicked so if there's any if there's any form of light the majority of the time you get attacked this world's full of sin and demonic activity and everything so that's number two that you're a chosen one so number three also this goes hand in hand to why you're always hated too but you're always really smart like i'm talking about like you're smart smart like ever since you were a child like you learn things my apologies i couldn't hear what sorry about that, that was my watch i don't know why it just turned on but yeah you're um you're just really intelligent like school for you was probably a breeze like in the early childhood like middle school or elementary school you probably had straight a's you probably didn't even try that hard everything just came easy to you so you're, you've always been super intelligent like like as a child like you you, you were probably like you probably like fantasize yourself like about space about like you you would have like existential questions as a child you'd be like where do we come from is there a god you've had all types of questions and everything and the stuff of the world was just easy to you like school was just easy you learn things quick you'd be able to learn anything you've always had you've always had really high intelligence as a chosen one because you are marked by you are marked by God. You were marked by the creator of the universe. So he put his, he gave you the gift of intelligence. So you've always been super smart. Like you've always been smart. Like you've, people, people have, uh, like uh, as a child, like you've probably spoken to adults and everything. I've said some things where they would be like, I can't believe this child is saying this stuff. Like you've said stuff that's really intelligent. And, um, uh, people don't know how to act like they would be like how does he know how does he know all these, all these things that you would like intrigue other people they're like this so you're as a child i mean ever since you were born you've always been really intelligent you've always been a a deep thinker you've always been really intelligent so that's number three like you have a you have a crazy amount of intelligence your your ability to learn things as a chosen one like you learn things so fast like if you if you put your mind to it you can learn it immediately like you learn things like it comes easy to you and like you could explain you could explain things like a chosen one has an intelligence where they could explain you could even explain like rocket science to a five-year-old you could explain the most complex things in like the easiest terms your your, your intelligence is just really high you have a extremely high intelligence so that's number th that's reason number i mean sign number three that you're a chosen one so sign number four you've always been kind of um how do I explain this one? Yeah, number four, you've always been, uh, this part, This goes hand in hand similar to the intelligence ones, but you've always been sort of uh, like an observer, kind of like you've, since, you, yeah, like you've been an observer since you're really intelligent. You've always been, you've probably, you've probably been pretty quiet like your whole life. Like you're not, yeah, you're not really like, you're not really talkative. Like you don't really take joy in speaking that much. Like you, you talk and everything you have a lot of intelligence but you've always been more than like thinking in your head so you don't you don't speak you don't speak too many words all the time that's also a thing with a chosen one since you're marked out of this world god god was basically god basically said all right i'm gonna take you out of this world you're you're of me you're not part of this world so whenever uh you're put in this world you're kind of you're kind of 
ener energy wise you're kind of above it so you, you kind of observe everything you're kind of you can see what's right what's wrong you have like a high moral compass and you could see you could see like the like the cruelty of the world the unfairness the injustice the wickedness and everything you see all of that stuff so you've probably always been questioning the world as a chosen one you've always been like why is it like this? Why does it have to be like this? Why, why do people do that? Like what makes people do this? You probably had endless amount of questions, like kind of even questions to yourself. You're like, what is like truly wrong with like, why is this world so weird? <laughs> that's, that's another telltale sign that you're a chosen one. Like you just keep questioning stuff. You're, you're like, why does this happen? Like, why does that happen? What is this? You, you've always been questioning everything. It's because you're uh, it's a chosen one. God gifted you with a high intelligence and it's a blessing and a curse because high intelligence is a very good thing but also the more intelligence you have the more sorrow you have tragically so the more you know the more you know the more uh you realize things so it could bring a lot of it could bring a lot of pain but it just as a chosen one like you have no choice you're you're just built with that uh you're just built with that intelligence you're made to see things you're made to see everything as it is you're not really made to because you're not you're not part of this world so god gifted you with this really high intelligence so you could change so you could change the world, make it a better world. Because this 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 world needs a lot of help. Again, it truly needs a lot of help. It's gone it's gone far, but it needs a lot of help. It's full of wickedness, full of suffering, full of a lot of bad things. So that's why that's why you've always been having all these questions. Because you're not whether you whether you like it or not. If you've seen these videos, you're probably chosen. And whether you like it or not, you're not part of this world. You're not really. And I'm sure as a chosen one, you probably don't really take joy in participating too much in this world. Because like. A lot, a lot of things are just corrupt. A lot of things are unjust. A lot of things are wicked. Like people just do wicked things. People are greedy. People are obsessed with the wrong things. Like obsessed with their money. Obsessed with a bunch of egotistical things. They're prideful. They're wicked and everything. They make practice out of sin. They like to do their sin and everything. So, but yeah, that's that's sign number four that you're a chosen one. And the last sign, sign number five. How do I explain this one perfectly? The you just, you just see, you just notice things in life that people don't notice. Like, ever since you were young, like you've probably like, you just notice things and like, you would look at people and you would be like, how do you not know that? Like when you were, when you were younger, or you, you just do that now. You just do that naturally. You're like, how do you not just like realize this? Like when you see, you just look at, you just look at things as kind of like. You just you like when you when you're part of when you're like observing the world and everything you look at everything it's just like you just like weird to you like you, no one no one really questions anything like you'll just be like people people just people don't even like you have so many questions as a chosen one and so people don't even people don't question like things of this world like people like you, you could you could say stuff about like like say a, a nine to five job for example which there's no problem with it but like you'll speak like about it like it's kind of like it's kind of like a like slavery in a way or just anything like that you question it and people people don't even try to question it they're just like it is what it is but as a chosen one you always you've always been a you've always been a thinker because you're made to change the world that's why you're always thinking you're always got it your mind won't stop thinking if you're chosen your mind your mind is really smart. It sees things. It's, it sees it sees things in a righteous way. So that's why you have so many questions. You're like, that's unjust or that's unfair. You have, you probably have a lot of righteous anger as a chosen one too. You probably have a ton of righteous anger because like this, a lot of things are just un, unjust, unjust, just wrong and everything. So you've always you've always been uh, you've always seen things that people like don't really see or like they don't care to see. And that, that's just part of that's just a little bit of it you also do see a lot of repeating numbers and everything uh god can speak to you in repeating numbers as well but you got to be careful though because the repeating numbers since the god of this world which is the devil he could use those repeating numbers and corrupt it as well he could try to trick you with these so you got to be careful not to always just look at repeating numbers like you'll see like 888 11 11 like i see 11 11 like all the time i see 444 like every day 555 but you, you like you gotta kind of you you kind of kind of not take it too too seriously in a way you gotta just not pay attention to it because the, the devil could deceive you with it too like you could just keep looking at these numbers and you could confuse yourself and confuse yourself so but you do i bet you if you're chosen you see you see repeating numbers a lot and like you see things people don't notice and like you, you you've probably even seen 
you've probably even seen as a chosen one like like spiritual th like spiritual things like you've probably you've probably seen demons run around or like angels like really quickly like uh really quickly move and everything i bet you you've seen it if you're chosen you've probably seen it too like this happens a lot like if you look like on your peripheral vision you'll see like something move really fast like a like a spirit or something so you, you've probably been seeing these as a child like you'll be chilling and then you'll see something like move to your peripheral vision you're just like what was that S since you're chosen you're more you're more in tune with the spirit realm so you notice like little weird things and everything so you've probably seen these things and like you'll say you'll say to like I guess worldly people and they'll be like what are you talking about they'll think you're crazy or whatever but it's like no nah, like i i swear like i'll see them through my peripheral vision they'll look and they're not there so you've probably seen things like this you've probably seen these uh these angel numbers or, or numbers or god speaking through uh towards these numbers you've probably seen like orbs of light whenever you talk like I, i've seen uh, people comment on my videos and there's like when i'm making these videos there'll be like little orbs moving around and everything so <clears throat> You probably see those as a cho as a chosen one too. You probably have those around you. So, you, since you're in tune with the spirit realm, like people, worldly people don't can't don't really see these if they're part of the world. They're not put out of this world. They're, they're not made to see those. They're ma they're made to participate in, into the world. Well, you're out of it. So you, you gotta kind of look at the world as in like you're out of the world and you're looking at it. You're not you're not inside of it. You just you're not of the world. You're you're only in the world. So that's where you see like these weird things and <clears throat> yeah, you're just like questioning it. You're like, what, what is this? But like, you're not crazy. You just, you see, you see things move out, moving around in the spirit realm and everything. So, but yeah, these are five signs. You're uh you're a chosen one. If you, if you, if you can relate to at least like two or three of these, like you're most likely chosen. You must, you most likely picked, picked out of this world by God. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I've been loving all the support on my channel. I've been getting a lot of support. I'd love to hear any uh, thoughts on this video. Just comment anything below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making way more videos and give a thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys next time.